seed dispersal let us observe it is a peepal tree growing on a wall it is a banyan tree it is also growing on a wall no one can sow seeds on the walls how did they reach there due to seed dispersal the movement or transport of seeds away from the parent plant is called seed dispersal seed dispersal is essential for survival of plants if the seeds are not dispersed all seeds of a plant fall under the same plant therefore they do not have sufficient place to germinate and grow they do not get sufficient sunlight due to the shadow of parent plant they do not obtain sufficient water and minerals due to the competition from parent plant hence seed dispersal is essential for survival of plants to avoid competition with the parent plant for place air sunlight water and minerals plants disperse their seeds to different distances but the process of dispersal varies from plant to plant seeds of different shapes sizes and structures on them help in dispersal seeds are dispersed by wind water birds animals and human beings some plants disperse their seeds by bursting of fruits let us observe the seed dispersal through wind in calotropis seeds of trirads also disperse by wind dandelion seeds are also dispersed by wind seeds that are dispersed through air are usually very small light in weight and have specialized structures like wing like structures in drumstick hairy structures in cotton calotropis dandelion rhodox etc let us observe the seed dispersal through water the seeds of coconut enclosed by fibrous with eight spaces hence they float on the water and move from one place to another when they reach the ground then they germinate and grow that's why we usually find coconut trees near sea shores on banks of rivers and canals it is a lotus plant growing in a pond these are fruits of lotus plant Seeds of lotus are heavy in weight. When they fall in water, they reach to the bottom of pond and get carried by the flow of water from one place to another. Seed dispersal through birds. Usually birds carry seeds with their beaks. some of them fall down before they reach their nests some birds eat some small fruits like neem banyan peepal etc the outer fleshy part of the fruit get digested in the food canal and the seeds of them are dispersed to other places through bird excretion that's why we often see plants that grow on walls It is a xanthium plant. Roots have thorn-like structures.
when animals pass among them these roots struck the animal's body and disperse this is also a one type of seed dispersal through human beings dispersal by bursting of fruits many fruits enclose the seeds in a capsule or pod Upon drying the pod explodes releasing the seeds with great force in the surroundings examples tea lentils lady finger mustard etc this is a kanakabaram plant seed dispersal occurs by bursting of fruits let us observe when water touches the kanakamram fruit it will burst and disperse the seeds okay children study well grow well be a good citizen and proud to be an indian thank you